Okay, let's continue hooking up our calculator code to the buttons so that uh, the calculator works. Okay, here we are with video two. If you haven't uh, followed the first video, make sure you go back and watch that one first where we started the code. All right, so we've now got the two operands and we've got the result. Okay, the last thing to do is to write the result back on screen to our result variable, this one here, so that we can see what it looks like, what the result was on the screen. So to do that, result equals, sorry, result.set text the result. Now that's not going to work. And the reason that's not going to work is because it's not going to be happy with a float. So we have to convert our float that's in this variable here back to a string. To do that, float dot to string the result. Okay, at that point we're done. I'm going to okay, I'm just going to delete that extra code that shouldn't be there. Clean that up, and it probably needs a semicolon on the end there. And we're done. Let's clear up some of the spaces. So at this point, you can see the entire functionality for the plus button is all in this one area. We haven't needed to go and extend to another class. And as I mentioned a few times, if you're only got you're doing something simple with only a few lines of code, it can make it a lot more readable to put it all in the one place. Because you can see up here, if you're reading this method and and you're the programmer, you know perhaps you've written this six months ago, or this isn't your code, you can scroll down and go, okay, button plus, okay, that's he's finding the definition. He's setting an unclick listener. Oh, there's the unclick listener there. Oh, okay, I can see he's adding them up. So it's all there very quickly, and it's going to save you a lot of time. But the important thing is, will this work? So let's save that and try running this application and see whether it does work. Okay, we'll enter some numbers. 23 plus 7 plus. There you go, 30.0. So it's working. Okay, let's try it with another number. We'll try uh, 50, 50.22 plus 21.44. Works quite nicely, 71.66. So you can see it's working nicely, it's adding them, but of course we haven't got the functionality for our other buttons. So we now, we now need to do the same thing we've done for the plus button for the subtract, divide, and multiply. So to do that, quite easy if you think about it. We need to copy the same inner class and do the same thing for each one. So we're going to go subtract calculator processing. Everything's pretty much going to be the same. It needs to, the two operands involved, they still need to be retrieved. And of course, uh, we need to write the value back. But in this case, because it's a subtract, we need to do a minus. Opera 1 take Opera 2. And here we need to change that to button sub control space subtract. Okay, so subtract calculator processing. We've got two more to do. Button multiply. And of course everything's the same, we just need to multiply. And finally, oops, I'll just change the comment there. Multiply. And I was in the wrong place. I should have done divide first. So I'm just going to do the divide there. So divide. Divide. Oops. I'm pressing control space there all the time, by the way, in case you're wondering. And it's divide. Okay, so at this point we've got four so let's save that and let's just uh, we'll go back and shut down our uh, project. Okay, so let's run it again and see what happens. Go back over and let's try something else. Let's try 10, take 5. That's working fine. And we do press the plus button. Of course, it's 10 plus 5 divided. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 10 times 5 should be 50. So that's all working nicely and we can sh we should be able to do that with uh, decimals as well. 2.2 .2 times 
12.54. 2.2 divided by 5.7. And again, you can see it's got quite a few decimal points there. Okay, so we've got that working. Lastly, why don't we add one final button that clears the values out. It'll clear the operand 1, operand 2, and the result and set them back to the default states. Default being these two values will be blank and this will be 0.00. .00. So to do that, close down that app. I'm going to go back over now to our uh, activity main. Oh, I might just save that. I haven't saved that for a while, so I'll save our project. Double click activity main. Go back to the graphical layout. We're going to add one more button. So I'm going to drag a button over. I'm going to call that button clear. CLR short for clear because we're running short on uh, on space. So I'll put it in there and have a look. Now we are running a little bit out of space, so we might try and make this a, to be a smaller button. So I just want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to double click that. So to do that, we want to do we'll copy this uh, little bit of uh, text here. All right, we're going to do that style. We're not going to use it exactly like they're showing it, but we're just going to copy that. And we're going to put in there Android button style. Control space. Button. Style small. So we're going to save that. Go back and have a look. We've now got a smaller button because it doesn't need to be as big as the other ones and it's got the clear function. So we didn't actually change the name, so let's change the name. We're going to call it BTN Clear. Save that again. I'm going to go back to main activity. We need to go right up to the top again. We'll add button, button clear. Button clear equals, oops, clear equals button, find view, by ID, r dot ID dot button clear. This one. Okay, and then we need to add our uh, inner class. So we're just going to copy one of these. Okay, it's going to be a little bit different, but we'll go down to this, to this last bit here. We'll paste that in. We'll make this, oops, I pasted it in the wrong area there, so I'll just go up a bit. Should have actually been in there. Same method, so I'm paste it in there. So button clear, clear. Now this time we don't want to retrieve the values. We've got no interest in calculating anything, so I'm going to get rid of those three calculations. All we need to do is put operand one dot set text empty. So two double quotes means no text. Same for operand two, so it's going to basically going to zero it out. So the two operands we're going to set blank, and then the third one we're not going to set result text to a float because we're not doing any calculations. We're going to set that to zero dot zero zero. So I'm going to save that. So let's go back and check it. Cloud run. Tap over. We've now got a clear button, so we're just going to do make sure it's working. Minus negative 38. Clear button. Return that to zero and cleared out the operands. So that's the end of the calculator project. I hope you got a lot out of it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.